بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم everybody my name is Aifi and welcome to a thousand and one American Muslim nights where I talk about living our deen right here in the U.S. of A. <laughs> Okay, I have got to find something better. And luckily, I found this amazing response on this blog called Dances with Fat. Whenever anyone asks the blogger an inappropriate question, she responds with, So how was your poop this morning? Did you go? How was it? And then when people unfailingly freak out, they, she gets to say basically, Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Are you the only one that gets to ask inappropriate questions? Because that's just not fair. I have tried this. Now, if you do chose to try this, be careful because people will defend their question as appropriate. I have had someone double down and defend his question on my marital relations, like with my husband as being completely within his right to ask me on the bus, to the extent that I felt like I had to get out three stops early. One thing though, is that this doesn't really work for all questions and that there are a few questions I get just kind of over and over. Surprisingly enough, and unfortunately, the one I get the most is, does your husband beat you? And it's always said so kindly and with such a smile, never with concern, never like, oh, how can I help you, you poor minority? Always just like, wow, it's like a real life reality TV character. Does your husband beat you? So what I finally started saying was like, oh my God, yes, all the time. It doesn't matter if we're playing Yahtzee or go fish. We could be playing anything and he just always beats me. He's just really good. And then usually people are a little too com uncomfortable and confused to try and clarify what they mean. So I found that one to be a really, really, really good one. Sometimes though, instead of getting a question, I'll just get someone straight up trying to convert me. And usually I have my speech down pat. I say, you know, Jesus is one of the most important prophets in the Quran and in the tradition of Islam. We really, really revere him. We really value his work. There was an entire chapter in the Quran dedicated to his mother, Mary. We love Jesus. But one time on the train, I had this kid that was definitely at least 10 years younger than me sit next to me on the street, my seat, lock me in with both arms and go, Jesus died for your sins. He loves you. He loves you so much. Jesus loves you so much he died. He died for you. He loves you and he died. And all I could think to say was, that was so nice of him. This is my stop. Bye. Not my finest moment, but something that Alhamdulillah hasn't really happened to me too much ever since. This Dean TV video was made possible in part by Islamic Relief, working together for a better world, and by Guidance Residential, the number one Islamic home financer in the U.S.